Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Reflex this video. And today we've got New Vision, New Cloud Strife. So his S Chamber is pretty good for himself, but we'll be talking about why he probably won't be using it, at least in his base form. So it has 100% TDH, 140 attack, pretty good. And now let's get into him. He has infinite turns, which I forgot to actually mention. He actually has infinite turns, which is good. Both sides. 100% 500% cap, 150% LB damage, 300% TDH, of course, 400% with his STMR. 100 times mod for LB at the start of battle for 5 turns, so you gotta get things done pretty quick. He has Wind, Ice, Fire, and Lightning imbue. And the Lightning imbue has a 70 times mod boost for LB. I wish all of them did, but oh well. 150% Lightning Amp for one use, so you gotta make that count as well. In his base form, a 60 times mod boost for the base LB, plus some LB damage passive, but you're, I mean, LB damage boost, but you're gonna be probably having a buffer that's more than the amount that it gives. The LB, I don't know why there's some things in here that's so, it's so strange, but the only thing that actually matters is the 40% grade sword in peril. That's all you're gonna use this for. That's it. So, anyways, in the ray shift form, Keep in mind that they're basically the same cooldown, but this one has a cooldown for the Brave Shift LB. So they count only for their, their LBs that you're using the cooldown in, instead of just a general both both sides kind of a thing. Uh, so 6 times mod boost for the Brave Shift LB, and a 1,400 times one hit cooldown. Actually, they might have separate names, I'm not sure. I didn't really look, but they have, they're basically the same thing. Um, Anyways, 1,400 times one hit cooldown. It's decent while you're wa while you're just waiting to use your LB again, I suppose. But you feel like you're only going to use this after the five turns are up, basically. Anyways, one hit. Uh, it's, his LB is a one hit, 300 times mod. And for a premium unit, you'd think it would be like 350, but this is non-stacking and it's non-elemental, which is surprising on global or on JP. So. It's not locked to, well, technically kind of is locked to lightning, but you do have other options if you like to do that as well. So, his total mods after using the cooldown, the passive for five turns, Tidus STMR, which is another 100 times, and the lightning imbue ability is, is 360 times, which is not as strong as Tidus, which is surprising. But he has. Much higher burst, much higher burst rate because of the 150% lightning amp, which Tidus does not have. So that actually brings him up much higher than Tidus for a short time, which is pretty good. And that, I've never expected a cloud to ever be this good, but yeah, he is, he's up there. But as always, we know there will be some cons. Uh, my nose is running. Uh, we, we're going to have some cons for some units. So... Of course, his own, his amp was only useful for one time. I thought they would make it a cooldown, and he did not. So it's only one use. You gotta make that you make that amp use uh, very useful. <laughs> his passive model in this for five turns, and only at the start of battle. So even if he dies and gets revived, it won't matter. It's only at the start of battle. Um, maybe uh, it's different in game, but I'm pretty sure that's the only way it works. So you gotta make things you gotta make things done in the five turns. And only 100% machine killer, which is very surprising. Uh, usually these units nowadays have a lot more killers. And this guy's premium, so this is a big shock that he only has 100% machine killer and literally nothing else unless you go EX2, I believe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and double check that actually. Yeah, EX2 he gets 100% all killers, so you have 200% machine killer, but like only 100% machine killer and nothing else. That's going to be... Uh, you know, all four of your slots are basically going to be used in the Brave Shift form for killers. And uh, we're going to have to figure out LB damage too. E. So that's a big, that's a kind of a yikes. I don't know why they did that. but And also I just made sure to look that uh, their cooldowns are actually different names. So actually it's fine. But you wouldn't want to use the base, base form L, uh, cooldown anyways. Um, and then shift immediately. Like there's no need to worry about that. So there actually are different names. So that's fine. Anyways. Let us go ahead and remove the lapis blocker here and see what we've got. 8.5 out of 10. There are some 
Downsides to make him where you can't get a 9, like only 100% machine killer. The passive mob boost only lasts for a certain amount of times. And the amplitude, he's really restrictive on, on turn count here. He can't be just fool, fooling around. He's got to do, he's got to do something productive. And, and, and trusters aren't really the, I mean, it's not a lot of people can entrust, but he would like an entruster if it's possible, but it's not always possible. So you have to figure out a way of getting his LB filled really quickly, pretty much. Anyways, 8.5 out of 10 for Cloud. I think he's finally, this is finally the good one. <laughs> it's finally the good one. You got, you can make him, you got to make him work, but he'll be good. So this guy is much better than when, when the original Cloud came out and that was just like a joke. This guy can actually do a lot of damage in comparison. So for those of you who are like, oh, you know, Cloud will never be meta. Every time Cloud comes out, he sucks. I, I agree with you that that usually happens, but this guy actually is going to be able to do something. When it comes to Global though, I don't know. He does have the 150% amp, which is higher than anything Global can do, but Global will probably will make something eventually like that anyways. But he's Cloud. And it seems like from the poll that I made, everybody is hyped for Cloud. So there he is. Cloud. Very good meta unit. And let's go on to Avalanche Leader Barrett. Bart. Whatever you want to call him. He has a decent 2 handed gun, 220 defense, and also some resists, and also some 500 flat defense for himself and also other Barretts, I believe. So, physical cover tank, of course. He has Omni Cover on a cooldown. Not as special in goal, goal because we have Chow for that on an LB instead of cooldown. 250 times defense scaling, bolding strike chaining. Just wanted to mention that so he has something to do. He has no imbues, however. And 200% fire, 200% wind resist, green magic, which he can cast with his triple cast or whatever he has. And those come with 50% all mitigations. He has 200% fire resist for all allies at the start of the battle. So if there's ever a, another. Um, that one boss that does a preemptive fire attack, uh, if there's a if there's a harder version eventually for that, then this guy will come in handy. That's for sure. He has physical cover as well at the at start of battle, of course, preemptive cover. Thirty percent defense through shield wield. He'll have forty percent if you give him his TMR, which is hundred percent defense through shield wield if you like to do that. Thirty percent cap. He has two instances gut of guts, which means guts means the if you take a certain amount of damage and you have a certain amount of HP remaining you'll you'll be you won't get killed instantly so he has two instances of that which is really interesting um, he has avian reaper human demon killer and also beast killer why couldn't cloud get some of that why is he why is he hogging all that the base LB uh, the only difference between the base LB and the brave shift LB is the mods the breaks and also in the SLB there is the 85% Physical mitigation versus Reaper and Human. Otherwise, the mitigations stay the same. And it's 27 hits, so we can actually provide some chaining options in the team instead of just being an awkward doing nothing, basically, kind of a thing. So, some cons here. Only 100% LB damage passive. He's kind of trying to tank, so I don't know how you're going to be able to build that. And there's so many other physical tanking options. Plus, Runda is free and still very, very good. I think they, I think they made a mistake by making Runda that good. Seriously, when, when Runda came out, everything else just seemed like so meh, including this guy. Except against, if you're fighting a human or reaper enemy, 85% physical mitigation if they're doing physical attacks, of course, uh, would be pretty, pretty nice. I wish it was physical and magical mitigation though, but oh well. So let's reveal the score. Eight or six out of ten. Just kind of mediocre, but he's not incredibly mediocre. He he can do some things, and I like the fire and wind resist. That's pretty high. So if you're fighting those kind of enemies, uh, twenty percent is very high. But six out of ten, he's just nothing that's super special. But he's okay. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Uh, Reno got crowns and, and stuff like that, but it was it, I looked at it and it's not even really worth mentioning. Uh, really nothing special there, unfortunately. Well, he's a free-to-play unit, so you can't expect much. Anyways, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you guys are looking forward to Cloud if he comes out, if you're excited for him. And that's it.
So make sure to stay tuned. I'm going to be pulling for Cloud. And of course, I'll be, I'll be building them and I'm making a build video for you guys if you guys are curious about that. Because there's a lot of things that you can get for attack uh, for fun of Hissy7. See you in the next video. Uh, peace.